Everybody knows the NFL would not allow a player to walk out on the field, get in the middle of a game, if he didn't have his safety equipment. He has to have a helmet, has to have pads. They wouldn't allow it. NASCAR, the same thing. The drivers all have to have helmets. They have to have harnesses to restrain their neck. They've got to have seat belts. They've got all this safety stuff. Nobody blinks an eye. Nobody thinks they're crazy because they're in a car doing 200 miles an hour. You can literally get a ticket and possibly lose your license if you're not wearing a seat belt because the officers will tell you it's for your own safety. They can even inspect your car and if your tires don't have enough tread, they'll pull you off the road because safety. I've never had one person ever tell me that I'm being too safe when I'm wearing safety glasses. Whether you're cutting a muffler off a car or you're out at the shooting range, covering your eyes, it's a good thing to do. I've never had anybody say anything about me wearing earmuffs when I'm out shooting or if I'm using a chainsaw because safety. I first decided that I was going to get a concealed carry permit and that I was going to carry a gun. None of my friends told me that I was being stupid or nobody told me that I worried too much or anything like that. They all said, oh, there's crazy people out there. That's a good thing to do. And I agree. I've never had any of my friends even make fun of me or call me overly cautious or going off the deep end for owning an AR-15. They all say, Second Amendment, man, America, cool. Now I want to get to the part of the video that people do start thinking you're a little off your rocker or you've went nuts. I started carrying a tourniquet because of uh, the thought that there are so many different situations where you could cut yourself in a bad spot. You could fall off a ladder, hit some glass, or anything like that. So a tourniquet's not just for uh, people on a battlefield. A tourniquet can be used anywhere at any time. You never know when you're going to need one. I don't think it's a bad idea. And nobody won't let me practice on them, though. I've been trying. Somebody will let me sooner or later. But as of right now, nobody's let me practice. Okay, now we're going to talk about the part where everybody thinks that you have just lost your marbles. Whenever you slap down 20 pounds of body armor. As soon as they look at a plate carrier, they automatically think that you're trying to go all Rambo or you're trying to be tactical and all that stuff. But I don't think this is any crazier than earmuffs or safety glasses, the tourniquet. I don't think this is any crazier than that because at the end of the day, if somebody wants to poke holes in me, I want to stop them from doing that. Plus, my wife thinks it's really sexy and Lord knows it's hard to get that woman going. So, my thought process was sort of along the lines of if I can carry a gun to defend myself, why can't I have something that I can just wear? My friends look at me and say, don't you feel stupid wearing that? And I tell them, only when you say that I look stupid wearing that, then it kind of, <laughs> a little bit. 